If you can go ahead and start, I'm just finishing up the announcements. I think sale is okay. Okay. Yeah. I like the app. They're mounted on your wrist. Say that again. I said I like the Atlas pistols. They mount on your wrist. And I, so they they stole uh, they stole Handsome Jack's idea. Exactly. <laughs> That's actually pretty awesome. I gotta admit, like his um, uh, pistols. yes, his his wrist mounted uh, laser pistols were pretty awesome. Yes. You can have them all up too. <laughs> all right. Also, I did and go back. Pulling up chat. Okay, there we go. Bit. You did what? I, did, I played Borderlands, uh, a bit of Borderlands 2 yesterday, trying the deal, a new deal for it. Um, okay. And also just to get myself reacquainted with Krieg, because Krieg is Because Krieg is amazing? Yes. Nice. I'm an immortal, I'm an immortal kill machine. <laughs> I need to keep going with uh, that last DLC that they that they put for Borderlands 2. I need to get... Uh, I need to get Nikki and Lisk and one other person together for that. Say what? You always get me for it. I'm yeah. Working on it my t I'm working on it myself. So. Yeah, absolutely. But I've I've been Krieg is the uh, the psycho. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I've been I've been. <laughs> I've been Sorry. No, you're good. It's it's actually funny whenever that happens, but uh. But I've been playing as as Krieg just because I really want the uh, the badass psycho transformations. But, uh, yeah. That only happens when you're at low health, though. Yeah, I know. But that's okay, because I am the psychopath, so I'm typically running into the faces of my enemies. <laughs> See, I found, I found the best weapons um, to use for Krieg are weapons that explode. Yeah. So, so that um, you're doing damage to yourself and getting your stuff back? Yeah. I'm back. Hey, say Not just Tor- Not just- <clears throat> Uh, torque, but TDR weapons as well. Yeah, because when you throw them, they explode. Yes, plus. But, uh... So much damage when but yeah, the, the only play. thing I have decided not to do with that Krieg is turn on the, uh, the friendly fire for himself, because... Yeah, don't do that ever. Yeah, no, at... at like, it might be... Like, in the beginning, it might be manageable to an extent, but later on, you're doing so much fucking damage, you don't have the health to deal with that. You're instantly killing yourself. It's, yeah. Don't worry. Like, do not use that ability at all. Yeah. The only way that would work is if friendly fire was, like, 10%, maybe, and even then, some of the higher damage rocket launchers are still an instant kill. You know, unless you want to be a suicide bomber. Yeah, and pretty much. If I could strap TNT to my chest as Krieg, then I probably would. <laughs> you already can. Oh, shit. <laughs> you already can. There's a, there's a movie that has where it changes, it changes the fight for your life mode to him. Oh, that's right. That's like, right. You literally just pull out dynamite sticks and run towards the enemy. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, like a, absolutely, there's no need for silence the voices at all. Like, yes, it gives you a huge damage boost, but it's not worth it hitting yourself once every ten pack. Yeah. No, actually, I took that, and I'm I'm okay with that. Silence anyway. the voices, really? Yeah. Anyway, let's... Nope, let's get moving. <laughs> and while we're... And while we're doing this, I have a wonderful, like, half a wine glass of chocolate wine. This shit was like six dollars at an Aldi's. <laughs> cool. Yeah. I, I went grocery shopping, saved some money by going to Aldi's, and decided, ah, fuck it, I'm, I, want some, I want some wine. 
they didn't have any mead, so I was like, ah, chocolate wine, that, that sounds okay. So I grabbed that. It's about as bland as I thought it would be. <laughs> like, okay. uh, it doesn't, it definitely doesn't have the burn that alcohol usually does, which I'm so glad for. But, uh, but, uh, the, the chocolate flavor is really subtle, like, to the point of non-existence. I'm still concerned as to how, like, what is Farron's field, uh, what is Farron's other field, um, ability? Yeah, we have not figured that out yet. Um, and I looked in the discussions, like, there is nothing on what each person can do. Like, where are we? We where? are... We are at Sarn Ford. It's uh it's basically another town area. Here, uh, come back this way and the the town is is uh through here. And behind okay. you. Uh... Hi. This is basically the uh the ranger camp. Yeah. So, yeah. How about that? Lewin and Kalaran are much on my if mind. I find the shop, I would be dude. glad if you would search for signs of them as you make your way north. I yeah, can't see it on my screen, but the, the blacksmith guy is uh, looks like he's trying to repair his uh, repair sword on the spinning wheel there. Except he's not at the spinning wheel; he's in front of the spinning wheel. <laughs> you heard anything of and and this guy here, Maradan. Is looks like he's trying to prop his leg up on something, but he's propping his leg up on air. He's the shop, by the way. But take heart. Meriden. If anyone okay. can make their way safe. We had yet to make a count of the dead the night you sent us to Aragorn. But I had hoped there would be more survivors. Some few are away patrolling the borders of the Shire. For even now we must attend to our duty. But sadly. Many of those who were wounded in the attack died within days from some evil ailment. Even those whose wounds seemed minor. Ooh, Adam. Perhaps Solana can tell you more. I have heard uh. many tales of the Baradans. What do you know of them? A stretch of hills covered with standing stones and ancient tombs. Many of the ancestors of the Dunedain are buried there. The place has an evil name, but I have traveled there in the past without incident. Part of the they dragon fire set now. in pauldrons. Be on your guard. Ooh. That sounds cool. Yep. <clears throat> the adamant set chess piece. Oh my god, you're right, the blacksmith is literally just sitting here in front of the in front of the wheel. Oh, oh man, Warner Brothers, why do you never let your developers fix your shit? <laughs> Okay, so it's not just me who sees this. This other dude is not even, like... He's not on the chair. He's he's just standing on nothing. Yeah. I'm fairly certain he's supposed to be turned the other way. Oh, joy. Welcome back, Master. Just let him... Let him <laughs> have a Captain Morgan <laughs> Look, everyone's got a little captain in him. <laughs> Wow, I just basically doubled my armor value with that with that adamant armor. Nice. Lowered my damage, but yes, doubled my armor value. And since I'm in the thick of things all the time, mm -hmm. it's good. Oh man, that all that wine was a little stronger than I thought it would be. <laughs> what you drunk already? No, no, I mean the burn. These are relics of my ancestors, made in a time before the lore of Numenor dimmed. Hmm. If I had the use of a good smithy, maybe I could make something of worth from these, but not here in the field. Ooh, if you're bound for Rivendell, you'll books. find skilled smiths among Elrond's folk. Try taking these to one of them. Alright, repair item, repair item, repair item. Can't repair that. Repair item, repair item. That that is not what I wanted repaired. That's what I wanted repaired. Uh what what other types of items do you need for the Adamant set, uh, Dan? Everything. Do you need pants? Yes. I need everything. There you go, buddy.
Why am I? You should know this already. <laughs> Baron, what is Athalas? Ah, uh, shit. Like, you live in the- you live at the Misty Mountain, you would know what the fuck this plant is. Well, no, doesn't it grow in the forest? Not in the mountains? Yes, but even so, the area around the Misty Mountain... Or the Lonely Mountain, rather. Yeah. Alright, we need to go find some Athalas. Yeah, understood. Uh, let me talk to Mada down here. Off again, are you? But I have a few things among our supplies that may help you on your way. Perhaps a few extra arrows for your quiver, and a few of Solana's healing drafts may come in very handy as well. Take a look. Will you first share your thoughts about what happened here? The attack of the Black Riders. <laughs> you can't see it, but my character just did that, like, old Japanese dub where they keep talking after the sentence is done. Oh, yeah. There's nothing to be gained from wishing. But there is something to be gained from action. We must have our revenge. Revenge. So that's all well and good. Our quest is to go find some Athalas at the Barrow Barrow Den. Better than Understood. whatever we can to save other <clears throat> fate. Yes, we must think of the living. Yet it is hard to see good men fallen and their killers unpunished. Those men died trying to protect those who can't protect themselves. can't go themselves. get it herself. No one can ask for a better ending. But you, you still live. And there is a long and dangerous journey ahead of you. You must be prepared. Take a look at the stores I have on ass. <laughs> you must be prepared. Give me your gold. <laughs> Thanks, grifting machine. <laughs> I love it when shopkeeps try to portray their their trade as I'm just concerned for you. It's like, no, no, you just, like you just want to make money, and that's fine, but that's what you're doing. Either of you need more forge boots? Uh, no, I'm I'm good. I. Uh, Every time I hear Warforged, I think of the D and D. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Same. Why well, can I not? Why can I not buy any of these items? You're, are you out of money? No, I've got two thousand gold, or silver, or whatever the fuck this is. There it You're goes. Out of space. No, I sold some shit. Uh, it, it it's working now though. Strange. <clears throat> plus damage, plus fire damage, plus armor. Uh. That's that's definitely more of an in combat set. I think I'm I think I'm gonna keep going for uh, war wise though. Found the exit. Okay. Okay. Let's see, Oathkeeper staff. Yeah, that's that's currently better than what I got. Uh, buy that. There's the bowmaster pants. I'm still liking the club that Felix gave me. Wait, the what pants? The bow oh, mat, the bowmaster pants. I already have bowmaster pants. Okay. Bowmaster pants sounds like a euphemism. <laughs> well, now that you mention it, <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're probably right. <laughs> you're probably right. <laughs> Did I have? Yes, I have two from. I have three from the Warwise set. Okay, don't get rid of the boots then. Uh. I think I, look I'm looking, no, hold on, no, I'm looking for Bright Flame, what is it? I'm sorry, what? I'm trying carry. to remember, I'm trying to remember what the fucking, uh, set I was going for was. It's not Warwise. I thought it was. It was either that or the Bright Flame or whatever it was. It was the Battle Master, that's what it was. Because right, that, right. that one, uh, gives me skill cooldown reduction and power regen. That's what it was. Okay. So I'm looking looking for the battle master set. All right, so I'm cool with changing these boots then. I'm gonna go sell some stuff for. We... Okay. Uh, yeah, I need to sell a few more things as well. Uh. Are you in need of supplies? 
Show me what you have again, old man. Sell that item. Sell. 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 And sell. Nothing there. Buy. And again, it doesn't... It doesn't want me to buy anything. <clears throat> oh well, fuck it. I don't really need any I healing like items right now. Set, but Adam set fits, or the Adam set fits me more. The Warlord set increases my damage and strength, dex, strength again, then like a gigantic hey. leap in critical. Well, see, <laughs> do do whichever you want because remember that both you and Salix are seem to be going for melee, so. We can we can afford two damage dealers. That's that's fine. I'll take the adamant thing, the extra health, the health and armor boosts are nice. Okay. You can also like mix and match. You don't have to go fully down one tree. You can do like yeah. part of one tree and part of the other. But it would be nice. It would it is better to specialize. It's true, but yeah, you you can take 3 of one and 3 of the other or however you want to mix and match. Get these dragon fire, the uh, dragon fire shul, uh, shoulders. Hold the dragon them. fire seemed really cool. It it seems like a good melee thing. Also, I could probably buy me a better, buy myself a better crossbow. Yeah, yeah. They had, a good good crossbow. they had a really good bow in there for me. I got the warlord pant for the admin. So, all right. Yeah, definitely, once I get some more skill points, I'm definitely upgrading the damage of my staves. Staves, staves. Yeah. New crossbow. You look like a silver golem, come like a tiny silver golem coming towards us. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Barrow down. Yeah! Undead time! I Woo! I hate this place and every game that it's in. <laughs> I, I love the aesthetics of the Barrow Dance. I will admit, playing through it was fucking annoying. But it's still fun. And it's a really sure cool this is. So this is a basically a giant graveyard of old Dunedain ranger people. And it is an evil place. Okay, so this isn't the place where they went to collect the army. We could have no, no, that was that was a different place. That was a different okay. Place. That's yeah. what I was thinking. These hills have an evil reputation in the folklore of the Shire and Bree. The Rangers travel here often without incident. Still, I feel a sense of unease. Looking around for. We have no mini map, so I don't know what's yeah. what's not. Yeah. Unlike in the uh... Well, Otomatoon on uh on a what's a what's a good joke uh scale for for evilness. Uh I found some footsteps. Sweet. Uh, oh, I found a secret. Hold okay, hold on. Uh hold hold the thought. areas oh i found it excellent there you go yeah i i would i would say this is this is pretty evil this is not like sauron level evil or not but but definitely higher than sodoman level evil this is ancient evil ancient angry spirits evil This is basically where uh, Aragorn gets the ghost arm. No, uh, this is not the place. No? No, the Barrow Downs is close to the Shire. Uh, the place that Aragorn gets his army is uh, closer to uh, uh, Edo Edoras. I know what you're talking about. I can't remember the name of it. Yeah, I don't remember the name offhand either. Hold up, Dan. Let's, uh, let's wait for Salix. But no, uh, the place Aragorn goes to is is closer to is way to the south, way way to the south. Okay. 
But it's a similar kind of... Similar, yeah. Yeah, very similar. They're both ancient tombs, essentially. I think the big difference here is that these people were purposefully buried here by the Dunedain uh, when they died, whereas that place pretty much just once they broke their oaths, they all pretty much just fucking died. Tomb Robin! Yeah! I found a crossbow. Oh, nice. Fuck it my way. You gotta love the tension they're building right now. Just yeah. the thunder and the whispers and all the string quartets. Hey, uh, there's like a weird looking plant over here that looks like it should be important, but I can't pick it up. Can anybody it else? Where? Is it it's, white? Uh, hard to tell. It's small. Yeah, I already know you. I okay. It. I grabbed um, a similar pile earlier. Okay. Like Ath it is Athelas? Okay. So we've got our quest item already. We could always head back to the ranger. <laughs> now let's now. let's let's wait until we uh, get to. Oh, zombies! Dead men walking. Oh boy! Zombies and ghouls, baby! And they don't die from being beheaded. Yep. Either of which I like. <laughs> I do not like undead things. I love the undead. See, I, I'm cool with stuff like vampires and ghosts, but I do not like zombies. At all. I love me a good zombie. Oh, you got old, that old, uh, Warcraft 3 bitch comment. I love the dead. That's an necromancer, sorry. Oh, well, same, you know, same, same, the same basic thing, yeah. Kelp is odd. Yeah, that was the one. <laughs> Which, funnily enough, in in um, uh, Lord of the Rings, do you do you do either of you remember who the necromancer is supposed to be? Uh, the necromancer is supposed to be Sauron. Yep, it, the necromancer is one of Sauron's other forms. Right. Please don't tell me we're gonna have to fight a zombie troll. No, it's fight. They're actually fighting the zombies, but they seem to be collecting. They seem to be collecting corpses. Well, as long as they're nope, nope, they're still hostile. Oh yeah, yeah, they're hostile oh, to everything. Okay. Yeah, no, no. Let them, let them fight some of the zombies. I'd say. Here, just in case they decide to throw more fucking stones. Ow. Oh, good. They can't even throw that shit in the thing. Oh, bullets. I'm down. Yep, I see that. I'm coming. Stay up, Dan. I'm trying my best to keep the busy. Yeah, just focus on dodging. <laughs> nice. Remember, space is dodge. I, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. I tried to heal, but it wouldn't let me. Or yeah, like, if you're so fast. Yeah, if you're in the middle of the action, then it uh, doesn't let you. Yeah. Now the dodge button in the control. Now I'm down. Okay, thank you. These trolls hey. might actually be slightly dead. Undead trolls, yeah. They good. I I don't know though, like there's flesh, they just look a little weird. There you go, you're getting the rhythm down, Salix. It is the rhythm of the night. <laughs> it is now. <laughs> Rhythm of the what? Of the night. Oh. <laughs> it's the rhythm of the night. I've been walking in my sleep. That's that yeah. moment. That's not how it works. Shut. It's in the middle of the night. In the middle. Of, yeah. Nah. I know. Rhythm of the night's a different song. <laughs> Shut up, man! Stop spoiling my dreams. 
Uh, increase dex. Uh, increase will by one. Spider's Bane Elfstone. Nice. 1.5 damage versus spiders. Nice. Do you think we'll fight spiders? At some point. Probably. <laughs> Considering it's giving you extra damage. I, I don't think we fight them here, but we're definitely going to fight them at some point. <laughs> wow. There's there's a rock that if I get if I get too far away it disappears. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a background rock. <laughs> cool. Yep, found an axe that gives me a 1.4 times. Found seven. some steps. Nope. Check out what it is. It's a ghost rock, yeah. <laughs> pretty, pretty much a Thomas dude. Healing cake, health potions. Yeah, take the healing cake. Take the power potion. Health potion. Or uh, of that plant we're looking for. Nice, nice. I feel like poison antidotes are going to be a thing for this. In this area, yes. So if I remember correctly, there are some poison enemies in here. I don't remember how far I got in this game, but I definitely remember this level. I remember you and me basically got to the third level, the third area, um, but I don't remember where in there we stopped. It was like, this was like five years ago, so there's yeah, like pretty much. It's like, dude, I'm just really happy that I could get Salix a reliable key. Yeah, I'm. I'm... I'm glad I actually get to play this game not by myself. Yeah. Because I could never get past, like, the, uh... I, I specifically remember fighting on the wall. But I can't remember past that. Yeah. Just because it being one person controlling three different people having to switch between them, it's hard. It is. It is very hard. Yeah, because the AI is shit. Well, that... That guy, that guy is special. And I already took his head off. <laughs> yeah, well, he's dead now. Yep, there we go, he's gone. That guy's special dies immediately. It's pretty obvious now, fellow missing rangers. As long as there is a chance they still live, I won't give up the search. Dude, friends, friends are dead. <laughs> First step to healing is accepted. <laughs> Don't be a dick, Farron. Jesus. My foot crossbow is now multi-shot. Cool. Nice. Rapid fire crossbow no jutsu. Oh, we got a lot of them coming in. That's rapid fire. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, <heaven. laughs> That's rapid fire. <laughs> I can shoot. It fires I can shoot as fast as I can play. play it. Ah, uh, just like firing a trigger. Those undead really did not like me using Sanctuary. God, I almost... I, I might have to go for Word of Power just to give myself a nice area of effect attack. Yeah, on my next level, I'm gonna take word of word of power. Yeah, do it. Just yeah, cause getting facing, getting swarmed. So yeah, getting swarmed like that is really painful. Like, you thought the orcs and goblins were bad. This is worse. Yeah, no, this is this is all about swarm. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I don't like the look of that. That looks like, um, The one up uh, ahead doesn't look good, but that looks like something's gonna come through there. That, so does that one over there. Yeah. Okay. Hold on, wait for Salix. Sorry. Yeah, fair and I agree with you. Oh god, they're coming. I'm coming! Uh, right up! Oh god, we're getting shot at by something as well. Oh god! 
I got the I got the undead archers. Here, I'm creating a sanctuary. Kitten! Hello, silent kitten. You are watching us fight the legions of the undead. <laughs> She's saying the poor dwarf missing all the fights because they because they're like stop running so fast. <laughs> yeah, actually, you're pretty quick. Oh, you don't get it, bitch. Armored ones try to summon more. Don't oh, fair enough, kid. Well, more coming from the straight ahead. Okay, you get ready for more shit. I mean, dwarf and D &D status can move. Oh, they they, move they opened up that cave. Like a normal person instead of a reduced hit, reduced speed. They just decided to open up this cave for some reason. It's yeah, because we defeated all, all the ghosts. Cave. I no, there's there's no, multiple no, ways to go. That's progress. Well, no, there's multiple ways to progress. Uh, hold on, let's check what's in this cave real quick. Okay. Yeah, this one is progress as well. I think these caves are side paths. I don't. Side paths, then. Yeah, agreed. It looks like there's writing on these stones, but it's very worn. Can your elven eyes make it out, Lord? Hey, magical, uh, magical barrier. No? Nice. Ah. Oh, pot. Chest. Battered Barrow Ward. Oros Scimitar. Pot. <laughs> pot, no connection. Well, kitten, I did spend 1,000 tentacles the other night. I'm surprised you have enough money for 1,000 tentacles. <laughs> it doesn't cost money. It's one of the, like, it's it's something with either Streamlabs or Twitch where you can, you can have this, um, uh, basically free resource that builds up over time for your viewers. And they can do, they can redeem it for little rewards. Ah. And yours is tentacles? T or kitten, you... Kittens is tentacles. Ah. <laughs> I spent, I spent a thousand tentacles to dare her to blow up a warehouse in Factorio. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I was hoping it would be like she'd see it by the time uh, she went through the first warehouse that she built and like put a bunch of shit into. <laughs> Just be like, blow up that warehouse now. <laughs> Let's die already. Fucking die. There we go. What the fuck? Okay, that sword was freaking out. So lost right now. Yeah. One bad thing about this, you have no idea where you are. Yeah. I think that's kind of the point, but... Yeah, no, that, that is definitely one of the one of the points. <laughs> well, that that Barrow White doesn't uh, doesn't have a head. Oh, yep, and he's summoning shit too. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Wow, Dan. Oh god, kill that Barrow White now. It's summoning stuff behind us. Here, summoning healing. God damn it, there's another one behind us. Okay, got that one. Another one here. Another one here. Freaking headless one. There we go. Got him. No, no, you don't. Bad. 
Not very right. Okay, we cleared the first tomb. So I think we have to exit the way we came in and then go clear the other one. Yes. Yes, that, that does seem to be the quest, is clearing each of these uh, tombs. Alright, go back to the first one. This way, Salix. I, I'm collecting stuff. Oh, okay. I'll collect the I'll collect that on the way back for I found you a scepter. Ooh, nice. Definitely send it my way. Where are you? Uh just follow follow our, our names. You should be able to see our names. Uh, uh I see you. Hello. Ooh. Adamant element. Nice. I need to turn the music down a little bit. I can barely hear you guys. Yeah, that would be why it decided to turn up the volume for some reason. Adamant. Oh, I'm finally it's starting a to treasure, get not for you. Stuff. Oh, it's like, treasure. It's, okay. I'm finally starting to get adamant set stuff in force. Oh, nice. I've got uh, four out of the four out of the six uh, armor pieces. Nice. That's pretty good. I think I have like four-ish of the bowmaster. Wow! Wow, kitten! Wow! I'm getting a shit ton of armor and health right now. <laughs> oh look, a wall to knock down. And I have a, uh, I have a portal here as well. Casually. Oh, I Just found a raid there. all of these tombs. <laughs> they're, they're not using them. <laughs> well, that's fair. <laughs> I mean, they, to, to be even more fair, they kind of are. I mean, they're getting up out of their graves to attack us. Right. Oh, here we go. Got a, got barrel lights. Stop thinking you're in the wrong franchise. No, bad barrel light. Shit, shit. Thank you, Salix. You're welcome. Uh, I need to use that skill more anyway. It's knockback against all the enemies. Oh, nice. I need to level up so I can get that word of power. I need to actually spend my level up. <laughs> I haven't yet. I've been fighting. I'm assuming it's an area of effect attack. Yes. Yes, word of power is area of effect. Well, that was the second tune. Okay. In all of its brief glory. Yeah. I found a quarter staff for you. Okay. I just picked up another staff as well. Uh, both of these are worse than what I got. As the dwarf blocks the entrance. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, for for a brief moment, Farron decided to uh, to portray oh, the not... act of of uh, NPCs that block your fucking doorway when you move into a room. It's got Either no uh, it's got lions. On it. I have uh, hold one one hold one at a time. What's up, Dan? It's got no effect on it. Okay. I'm still having trouble hearing the both of you. Uh, Dan, is your microphone away from your from your face right now? Weird. Okay. I'll turn the music down a little bit. I think the music might just be loud. It's just the music of the game. Which, again, we would like to remind the audience, this game's volume controls are fucked. Yeah, no, the, the, this game's... At the very least, this game's uh, voice stuff is, is really annoying. Uh, Kitten is saying that you are just really quiet, Dan. Found the treasure chest. Um, let's see what I can do. Uh, I'll try turning up your volume on Discord as well. Yeah, for some reason your user volume went uh, went down. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. I I brought you from 63% to 90%. So that should help. What about help. now? Say what? What about now? Much better. Much better. At least for me. Uh, give me just, Let me check the levels on Streamlabs. Uh, say something real quick, Dan. Something real quick, Dan. Okay, yeah, no, you're good. Uh, Salix, if you'll say something, please. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, or nah, you? you. You both should be good. Okay. All right, let's uh, let's move on. Oh. Mosey on down. Try not to break your computer, Salix. <laughs> Sorry, I dropped my phone on my keyboard. <laughs> it's so <all> good. <coughs> Mosey on down to Barrow White Town. <laughs> Threatening is what it is. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. Actual barrel light. Don't stop firing. Yeah. Focus everything you have on that fucking barrel light. I'm keeping an eye out. It's behind us. <laughs> we'll keep the uh, minions off of you. Okay. That Otomatoon is basically a summoner boss. Ow, shit! Ow! Oh, God! <laughs> Cast Sanctuary after it. <laughs> yeah! You fuck you, dude! Your fucking spells ain't gonna get through me! Where are you? I am, I am I'm good. I'm about to be out of power. I still have plenty of arrows. Ow! No, look, Come here, fucker! Pull up strike! Beat the fuck out of him! Yeah! Suck it. Nice. Now to destroy all these pillars and get stuff. <laughs> yeah. Now to loot the rest of the corpses and graves. I mean, since we're here. <laughs> we're, we're passing through. We might as well take everything. They're not using them anymore. <laughs> not after we just put them back in the ground. <laughs> I mean, they shouldn't have been out of the ground in the first place. <laughs> Reach your protocol. Wait a minute. Okay, no. Hold, hold up, hold up a second, Dan. Hold up. Depend depends on how they would do that, uh, kitten. I've seen some uh, some decent artwork of of some. Joan Crawford has risen from the grave. Sorry, one of my favorite Blue Oyster Cult songs. It's all good. I like Blue, Blue Oyster Cult, they got some great ones. They are very good. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember when WoW first came out. Sorry, I'm gonna go the chat, the chat so I can see what's going on there. <laughs> Kitten is being her usual pervy self. <laughs> All right. I found a lot of gemstones. Really? Yeah. That's good. Let's uh, let's keep going. <laughs> I can't see anything. Hold on. There we go. Uh, where is everybody gone? Uh, oh, yeah. further, further down the tunnel. Yep, here they come. Oh. Fuck you, Archer. Halfway to a level up. Really need that shit. Healing. Don't you have any potions to add, to add experience? Uh, not currently, no. I've been giving them Remind to you guys. I'll give you potions in a minute because I have like 21. Of learn of experience potions? No, of health. I don't yeah. need those. I don't need those. I need the experience potions. Yeah, I've got 27 healing potions. Okay. Yeah, trust me, I, I am not hard up on those potions. Right. If I run out of those, I have cakes. 
You have cake. Yep. There's always cake. There's always cake. And it's my delicious. cakes are not a lie. It's so delicious and moist. How are you? You have a barrel white stuck in the wall. So uh, I'm anymore. about to die! Oh god. Fear rescue, again. I mean, you're not wrong, kitten. Typically, if you if you have a decent healer in any game, nobody fucking uses potions. Yeah, well, when you're in the, when you're so deep into enemy territory and the healer's way back there, and their only method <laughs> yeah. of healing is their only method of healing you is a bubble. Is a bubble, yeah. <laughs> it's a really great balance for the healing. I think I I have another method of healing, but I I'm trying to get more important stuff right now basically if i'm blocking uh or if i if i spend the points for it while i'm blocking i can uh i can press a button to uh to heal people nearby hey dan are you currently carrying a shield i'm wearing one yes what is its value Did you not notice the big slab of metal on my arm i haven't been looking at it <laughs> I don't think he's been paying attention to your arm. <laughs> What's uh, the armor value on it? Um, plus 35 armor. Uh, it's one 147 plus 35. Never mind. These are worse. Because hey, I have uh, like three shields, but they're all worse than that one. Uh, Salix, here is a ring that gives you bonuses to dexterity. Okay. Thank you. Uh, currently, the adamant set is giving me plus 25 armor, plus 30 health, and plus 80 armor. Nice. Hey, you can actually see my I character's hair. I use that. Oh, you I can't? I don't have enough will. Really? Okay. Yeah, I, I don't have 16 will. Oh, I didn't know you needed that much. Okay. Yeah, I've got just, yeah, you, you know, 33. <clears throat> Not much. <laughs> I have 22 strength, 18 dex, 24 stamina, and 10 will. All right. Well, hey, let's. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm I'm using a uh, like a, a crown. A tiara. Yeah, one of those. I don't know. They were capable of bringing anything. I completely fucking missed with that. Awesome. Let me uh, just put up a sanctuary here for those archers. I don't know. It's thriller night. <laughs> the, the zombies just all suddenly start dancing the thriller. Fucking hell, that would be cool. Something. That would be hilarious. It would be but hilarious. It would. Uh, there's a wall I can break down. Okay, well, we'll worry about that when we get to it. Ow. <laughs> Fuck off, you barrow white piece of shit. Funnily enough, technically all of these things are barrow whites, it's just that one we were facing is an is an actual barrow white. Barrow light. <laughs> <laughs> They're dying, Ow. Barrow light. Ow. Fuck off you. Here we go. Hey! Nice. These are diet barrel light. Uh, barrel light. Also, I leveled it up again. Awesome. Uh, there's a poor excuse for a hidden door here. Oh, no way, level up. I'm catching up to you, Miyoko. In... Levels. Oh, uh, okay. I'm nearly level 12. I think, like, one more good fight like that, and I'll be level 12. Oh, hey! Magical portal! <laughs> oh my god! That's actually really fucking clever. Is you Putting make a... Magical portal in between the... In behind the thing. So, so, essentially, you make a really shitty hidden room... 
Like, it's, it's hidden enough that most people just doing a cursory glance won't see it. There's but a chest and anybody, a pile. But anybody who, like, looks closer sees it, but then they think that that's all there is to it. And so you hide a magic door in there. Come on, Dan. We got, uh, come back here. We got, we got items still. I need to drop some shit. I have plenty of room. Uh, I'll probably pass you some, some stuff. Okay. Uh. Oh, hey, I do have an elixir of learning. Whoops. I can't combine this group of six and group of seven potions. So I'm going to give three over to you, Salix, and see if I can combine these now. Nope! That's awesome. Why would I not be able to combine this shit, game? What? I have a stack of three health potions and a stack of seven health potions, but I can't combine them into the into the ten stack. Ah. Are they different kind of health potions? Nope, same kind of health potions. Okay. And I have a bunch of ingre I have a bunch of ingredients to make shit with, but it won't actually let me make anything. Why is that? Is it, is because it, it just doesn't combine. Middle talent tree that I can't access because I don't have the, the middle talent. Uh, here. But, uh, Dan, it, take those. Sorry, continue. Uh, but that. it's, uh... During Warcry, your melee attacks will echo to nearby enemies, striking them for damage. Oh, nice. Sounds like it, it gives your melee attacks an area of effect. Yes. Nice. But that's, like, way down the melee... Way down the center tree, and I've been... I've been doing on the le I've been doing the left and right tree. Okay. Right. Should I let my crossbow bolts fire even more between cl between clips, or should I reduce the pull down on my skills? Uh, really good. Honestly, you're using Warcry enough to help us out. Um. Then again, I would love that extra armor. I'd say cooldown on your skills. Cooldown it is. Cool. Yeah. If it can get it to the point where you can pop Warcry as soon as it ends, then that would be great. Uh, maybe in another level. Yeah. I know I can get it's Sanctuary bad. to a point where the duration will basically be like as soon as Sanctuary is down, I can, I can pop it again. That pot was looking. <laughs> oh, oh look. hi, guys. Speaking of another fight. Yeah, they seem to be leading us somewhere. Oh, I'm this is. I'm guessing it's going to be another barrel white fight. I'm betting, yeah. I'm not counting these guys as barrel whites. These are diet barrel. <laughs> Barrel lights. Ow. And yes, kitten. Uh, Miyoko is basically a magic bubble. Pretty much. Yeah. Okay, so taking the head off of the archers is good. Because then they just kind of flail around. This. Well, they don't even see. try... They, they don't even try shooting. They just flail around for a bit. Good to know. I wish I, I wish there was a way to increase how many crossbow bolts I could carry. Yeah. I'm stuck at 40. I mean, 40 shots is pretty good. Where in the hell is this going? Is this the wrong path or the right one? This is this is the the wrong right path. <laughs> right. This is this is the way we wanted to go oh. to get treasure. I think I just found something for you, Miyoko. Oh. Elf stone of will. Ooh. Yeah, I'll I'll take it. I think I've got some uh, things I can pop that into. Oh, uh, give me give me just a moment. I don't have the space for it. 
Uh, right. Let me. Sorry. No, you're fine. Let me combine something here. Okay. Um, send it again. Um. I can't. <laughs> Is it gone? It's gone. <laughs> uh. Uh. Oh. Oh, there we go. Gosh. Take. Take. Okay. I'm tempted to go back into uh, using or dual into dual wield since I'm barely using my shield. Go ahead, but man. Yeah, if you want to. Nice. Uh, it is a very nice gloss to the hair. Agreed, kitten. Alright, I'm gonna give myself a go with the great sword. This isn't phallic at all. <laughs> well. <laughs> not... <laughs> well, then. <laughs> it's very pointy. I'll say that. It's very anchory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. <coughs> And very penile. <laughs> okay. So. Did, which way is which? Is that the this area that we way. were fighting in? Ooh. Dwarf can't compensate for the third leg he's already got from how many balls it takes to go wade into middle of combat. <laughs> <laughs> Go take make some more space there. Can't compensate for what you already have. I'm gonna have. just give these four potions to you, Dan, and make some space in my inventory. That's fair. Uh, I'm also gonna give, give these. Up. I'm gonna split these eight potions up between you two. I'm getting a lot of warlord. Uh, See, I got bright flame pants. I mean, warlord's nice and all, but it, it has no um, armor in. Yeah. Just uh, you said you said bright bright flame, bright flame pants. Uh, do I have anything from bright flame currently? This is no, for... not currently. This is for you. So just to be sure, everybody has two rings now, right? Yep. Yes. Okay, I'm making sure because I found a ring that's got plus two strength, and that's no use to me. I mean, that's more melee damage for you. Yeah, but the rings that I have are plus more arm, more armor and will, and the more will I have, the more I can pop War Cry. Ah, fair enough. Alright. I have a lot of treasure. We need to find a shop. Yeah, we, we've we got one maybe up ahead? Is that... I hope so. Hopefully. That, yeah, this looks like a yeah. shop. Yeah, okay, thank, thank, thank God. Thank you. Uh, let's just go ahead and return to, to Sarnford. Yeah, just just go to just return to Sarnford for now. Okay. Because we got the Ath the last plant. We can go and get yeah, we can turn that in. I know, right, kitten? There really is more of a harpoon. Like you're just wielding a harpoon. <laughs> but it's a sword, not a spear. Yeah. I mean, if you look at a lot of Lord of the Rings weapons, especially the Yudakai weapons, they are very creative. There's yeah. a lot of spiked blades in there. Hey, these guys are actually doing their stuff right. Oh they're my face God, they fix they're oh, facing the I right thought, way. I thought it was charming when they weren't. <laughs> are you in need of supplies? Their glitch positions were more charming. Agreed. Uh, sell that. Like sell the, that. the shop, like the shopkeeper guy, him Captain Morganing. Yeah, <laughs> just Captain Morganing in the middle of the air. I wish there was a quick button for selling rather than having to manually select there everything. Is. On the bottom it says sell unessential items. No, I mean in my uh in my like equipment like my boots and weapons oh. and such. I have over 6000 gold. I have uh 8000 currently. I have 15500. Jesus. Jesus. I made a money, baby. Clearly. You know, I didn't think of that kitten, but I will make sure whether or not it works in the next time. 
Uh, let's see. Elixir of Lethal Striking. Hmm. There's a cap. It, there's a pad available in the shop. It's Wanderer's Cap. Plus 20 power. Find more coins times two. Ah, nice. Maybe you can use it. Yeah, it's Elf. You can use it. Uh, send it to me. Not like we use money that much, but you know, the thought that counts. Solana, and our elven friend as well. How can you heal the guy? I thought you were all slain. Yeah, I, I went ahead and healed him. That was only the dark voices in my dreams. Yet, take this at this random root that we found. No, the battle was real enough. We were overmatched, yet you fought bravely. I tried to do my part, but I'm afraid I was not much use. Should I buy the Dunedain War? And then the darkness fell. Hmm. I thought it was the end of all things. Or the Chieftain War Sword, which does even more damage than the Dunedain War Sword. Mine was the knowledge, but it was this brave elf who found the herb that saved you at great personal risk. Then I owe you my life, friend. Please, let me show my appreciation. My weapons were made in Lost Numenor in the distant past. Indeed. They've been in my family for generations. I want you and your friends to have them now. What do you know of yes, the dwarf is now the Numenor sugar daddy. The land of my ancestors, the great civilization, but it sank beneath the sea thousands of years ago. Only a handful of survivors, <laughs> led by Elindil, escaped here. Oh man, this is actually reminding me. I, I'm listening to this guy talk about Numenor. Uh, do either of you know the story of Numenor? I know no. a bit of it. So, oh my god, this sword looks fucking awesome. So, the story of Numenor is actually really cool. At least its its downfall is really cool. Uh, because it is one of, I think, two times that the actual overgod interceded uh, and, and did something in the world. Uh, essentially, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. You have a whole bunch of different uh, lands. Like, Middle-earth is not the only place. There's a place to the east of Middle-earth that nobody knows what the fuck it's called. And humans actually came from there. Uh, elves, were elves and dwarves were born in Middle-earth. And then way off to the west... Or, sorry, no, the elves were not... Yeah, they were born in Middle-earth. Way off to the west is the lands of the Valar. The Valar are basically archangels, but the mortals consider them to be gods because Saruman and Gandalf are Valar. Yes, Saruman and Gandar and Gandalf. They are not Valar. They are the angels just below them. But uh, but they are angels. The wizards are basically all angels. Um, but uh, everybody considers them to be gods because nobody really talks about the over god and he doesn't intercede in anything except for Numenor but essentially um Numenor managed to help defeat Sauron once ages and ages ago and uh they actually imprisoned Sauron but unfortunately because they weren't willing to kill him he started whispering to them and filling their their heads with deceit and slowly turned the entire civilization into this evil, evil civilization. Except for Elendil and the uh, the rest of the of the Dunedain, the Rangers. However, the reason Numenor fell is because Sauron convinced the men of Numenor to go to war with the Valar. Literally, they sent a fleet out there. Their king went out there, landed on the shores, and that was the point that the Valar were like, uh-uh, no, 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 you ain't doing this. And they asked the Overgod to intercede, and in the Overgod's wrath, so many different things happened. He drowned Numenor, just thrust the whole place under the waves and the entire army that landed on Valar uh, on the lands of the Valar the ground 
opened up underneath them, swallowed them up, and they are still down there to this day, staying alive until the end of eternity. That is when the that is when the Overgod will let them out again, and they will be allowed to uh, to pass on. They got hope they bought it or they brought decks of cards with them. <laughs> yeah, they're just basically forever being crushed under the earth just there for all eternity also Miyoko wants you done with talk, the talking there I'm, I'm done telling the story so I go my right sword basically look, my sword basically looks like a combination of something you would find in Warhammer 40k and um, uh, Aragorn's sword Will you accept my gifts? I am grateful for your offer, but heirloom should pass from father to child. So, like, less well kept. Give to a child hmm. of your own one day. I would have no chance for children had you not saved my life. Please, Excuse I insist me. you take these. You can always return them to me later, when this is all over. A noble gift, thank you. It looks a bit like Narsil, but it has dwarven runes uh, written on the, on the blade. Yeah. Oh shit. That actually looks really cool. I told you this thing looks cool. Yeah. I wish I could zoom in to hold, to to see more. We'll have to wait until uh until we get into a combat zone. I'll be able to do it then. There's the Wanderer's Cap. What was this about the uh it's about in, the the gift reward? Hold it's on. in there. It's in the ju the junk items area. Ah, it's okay. In, yeah, I, I see it. I see it. Thank you. Eloran staff. That's like the only thing I can use, so you know it's not really a choice there. Uh, plus three dexterity, plus three reflect damage, and like plus twenty damage. Yeah, yeah, I'll take that. Eloran hand axe is a one-handed, <coughs> one-handed axe, but it gives me health or deal health. Oh, dude, you should see the head on this staff. It's actually really cool. Like a dragon. Oh, yeah. It's it's a unicorn, I think. Basically, uh, it's a, it's a it's a horse of some sort. I know that. It's a horse, so it so it reminds me a bit of uh, Rohirrim. here almost level ten. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Uh, let me Hi. let me sell uh, a couple of stuff. Let's see, plus twenty power, find more coins. Yeah, that would actually be really cool. I have something like that in my inventory. What my is... hat, my hat, my wanderer's cap. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I've got as well, is that's the wanderer's yeah, cap. Uh, I already gave it to Miyoko. Okay. Uh, let it's me... pretty good. Does your gear need repair? Let me repair some stuff real quick. I just dropped like three grand on repairing. <laughs> yeah, so did I. But yeah, the... Thank you all for listening to my to my story of the fall of Numenor. The the actual story is way longer than how I told it. It like is a chapter of uh, the Silmarillion by itself, but uh, it's super cool and really interesting because literally Numenor went from this bright beacon of hope for humanity into this like human sacrifice to Sauron and Melkor civilization. Horrible, horrible civilization. And uh, the last person of Numenor to die was their queen as she raced to the temple and prayed, prayed for forgiveness and help from the Overgod and her answer was the Rising Waves. Isn't Anor the name of the Overgod? Um... Anor, um, he's got a bunch of different names. I don't think Anor is the Overgod. I'm alone again. Arnor. Oh, Arnor. son of a bitch! Where it? I'm, I'm coming toward he's you. I see your name. All the way back at the beginning. Oh my god. We're not. We're not. We're not. This took us back to where we, where we were. Yeah, no, but I was he's like at the very beginning. Oh he's my god, all the way again? back. Yeah. yeah. I have um, no idea how or why. Okay, just just reload the game. That that fixed it last time. Isn't this like 
oh, we all have to reload the game? Yes, everybody has to back out and the game has to be reloaded. Then he'll be with us. Which does mean yeah. we'll have to fix the uh, the voice thing. But yeah. <laughs> Once again, everybody, Warner Brothers won't fix their shit. In fact, I don't think that I don't think the development studio is even around anymore, but pretty much like once a game is released, Warner Brothers pretty much will not allow <laughs> most of the non-game breaking glitches to be fixed at all. And even some of the game breaking ones will be will stay in the game. It's such a shame too because a lot of these games are really good they just need a tiny little bit more work to fix the glitches and they'd be so amazing but right. wb is so fucking lazy actually it's not i don't think it's even so much laziness it's pretty much just like okay that game's done cool uh you'll spend like six months fixing a couple glitches then you're moving on to the next thing like what it's pretty much like good it's done drop the game that's pretty much how they they seem to act uh, let's see invite to lobby sound settings hello remember to right right phone Sorry, fixed. well yeah remember right. that you have you have to do it when you get into the uh the the lobby how they just coming in for me it's, I mean, you're not echoing, so. Seems so to be I good. Already, I already fixed it as soon as I started the game back up, so. No, fair enough. I, I, I exited the game and started the game back up. Yeah. How do? Seems to be good. Alright, let's go. <coughs> let's do it. Hopefully it'll drop us where we left off. Oh, I know. I really don't it want to. It still says control. part one, which I'm, I'm afraid of. But it said that when we left as well, so... Yeah. Bellaram, fix it for us. <laughs> Bellaram, get your beautiful self in here and fix it. Okay, we're good. Okay, thank God. Okay, yeah, there's uh, the shop. Yeah. My inventory is good as well. Awesome. Wait, what? Talking about my, my inventory. I've got tons of space. Hold up, Dan. Oh! Check your weapons. Uh, Salix, you need to you need to come back. Dan ran ahead. Barrow, Barrow White. Check your weapons. I can't right now. We have a boss right. fight. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, popping this. Ha! Fuck your face, Barrow White. Oh god, those actually started getting through a little bit. Alright, he's coming down to where we are now. I don't give a shit about you or your <laughs> Nice. That one went that one went down a lot easier. That's what he said. Well because this one didn't telepo teleport around as much as the other. Yeah. Not as big of an arena. Also we're using much more damaging weapons. So okay, so check my weapons. What uh what am I looking my, at? My uh sword that I got from the guy apparently replaced itself. Like, uh, I have to open the box again to get the sword again. Uh, mine seems to be okay. Mine's fine. I didn't, I'm, considering I didn't equip the one that I got from the, the guy. I'm, I'm still using Elleran staff. I'm using well, that was the I'm one just... I got from the box that I had to replace. Yeah, no, I'm, as I said, I'm, I, apparently I don't have to, uh, to reopen the box. I seem to be fine. I think it's because you're, for whatever reason, your save file keeps glitching and sending you back to the beginning. Which I don't know why. 
Yeah, I don't know. I know this blade. It belonged to Kalara. The comrades, what comrades? I'm not even over there. Were they living or dead? Ah, uh, this blade. I would like to pick it up, but it won't let me. Continue. Did we find all the secrets? Yeah. Okay, good. Never have to go back to that place again. <laughs> yeah, you know, we just have to go further into the barrow. Yeah. Barrow of Amal Gothad. Alright, this is where I'm expecting spiders. I have a weapon that's good against spiders. Agreed. I don't know, given the days of backtracking we did. <laughs> given the fact that we left this place, teleported back to town for a few days, eh, you know. They'd have to subside on the flesh of the dead. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Found a cache. Nice. Are those things only for him? Yeah. They are... But it's good not to run ahead of him, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Just Dan. <laughs> I'm sorry as you keep inching forward. My blade just, want, <laughs> my blade just wants to cut something. I make it a point to look at everything because I know there are secrets. Yeah. I'm trying to and keep my, my eye out as well, yeah. I'm just... Give me, so... give me just a moment. I need to blow my nose. Whatever my second exploration skill is, it better be worth it. I didn't even know there was a second one. I think if there was one, Dan, it would show up by now. Ugh. Disappointment. Yeah. You can make potions, Salix can find ranger caches, and... What, track things? No, he just finds uh, ranger caches. That's what both both of those lead to that. Yeah, like, it, like... both the same thing. Like, y we all have something that reveals secrets, but I just have the additional thing of I can make potions. Okay. Speaking of which, you just found something, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much, like, the whole reason I can do that is that I'm the healer of the group, so, yeah. You know, it would be nice if we did have a second ability just to make oh, it Oh, agreed. Easy. Agreed. I I don't think they're happy with us. No. No, no they're not. They think. All I know is they die. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, just a little bit more to my fucking level up. Yeah, I'm almost there too. Oh my god, this sword is doing so much damage, I love it. I'm like a buzzsaw. <laughs> god damn it, still not leveled up. <laughs> nope. Okay, we came down oh. from this middle, right? Wait, this show... more guys coming. I am off by 7 XP. There we go, got it. Okay, let me grab word of power. Or sorry, word of, word of command. Yep, I got it. Let's do this. Leroy! <laughs> Get in here. Oh, hey, zombie. Kill I'm almost there. Ow, motherfucker! Let him fucker. come down. Let him come down. Or you can just whatever. I'm not even. I'm letting him down. I'm <laughs> chopping up his legs so he'll fall down. <laughs> I'm letting him down easy. Fucking zombie piece of shit. <laughs> Spawn killing motherfuckers. <laughs> See what's this way. No. More zombies. Let me test Doesn't this matter. out. I'm lost. 
Bam! Okay, that does a, that does a little bit of damage. I, I definitely need to improve it. But that does about 300 damage. Uh, where is... Huh, I don't actually... As I as you guys go off and fight, <laughs> I don't actually have anything that uh, improves the damage of Word of Command. I can increase the range, but uh, not the damage. So good. It, yeah. I think it's linked. Uh, it's probably linked to your main uh, stat. Ancient. Key. Probably. Yeah. Search the tomb. These guys just keep coming. Well, that's good. It's good grinding. Great spotter. Also, uh, there's a chest over here. I'm gonna increase my stamina a bit more, get some more fucking health. Yeah, the chest is where I got the ancient key from. I also got an ancient key. Yeah. It's just gonna open the gate that's up ahead of us. There you go, Salix. Level up. Woo. Let's see what I got. Hey, Otomatoon. Nah, you didn't miss anything big. More zombies, that's all bad of it. I'm gonna increase my will, because I need to. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, these fuckers just keep coming, Jesus. The armored ones are keep coming. This is like, this is like if we, they kept spawning orcs on us. Yeah. I mean, we are surrounded by corpses, but still. Alright, hold up, Dan. I'm coming. Don't die. <laughs> because this guy cannot run at all. Like, even when he does, it's super slow. <laughs> have, you tried? have you, yeah, have you tried holding down shift when you, uh. I work? am, and he's you just are. really slow. He's just slow. Fair enough. When the dwarf can outrun the ranger. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell the no problem. That's something I've never done in D&D &D before. Play a dwarf ranger. It's it's interesting. I t I've told Salix about my uh, my dwarf swashbuckler idea that I have. I know if so I know if somebody ever um, post shadow run instead of me for a change, um, I'd probably end up playing an orc. But uh, an orc or a dwarf, one of the two. Yeah. Because shadow hey, is awesome. No, el no arrows, you piece of shit. <laughs> Boom! Multi headshot. <laughs> yeah. Boom! Multi headshot. I have four arrows per clip, I guess to say. Maybe I can go rapid fire ten at least at this level of my rapid fire uh skill. Yes, feed me bolts. So, Salix, of yeah. the enemies we've fought so far, do you prefer the goblins, the orc, uh, or the barrel white? I don't like undead things, <laughs> so hitting them makes me feel good, so I'm gonna say those. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good way of, that's a good way of looking at it. <laughs> Fuck you, undead archer. No. Bad. Imagine what the spiders are gonna feel like. Yeah. yeah I'm fine with spiders. I don't know. Maybe we run into Shelob's cousin or something like that. I mean, it, they are all related to Shelob. That's the thing. All of the big spiders are either uh, Ungoliant's brood or uh, Shelob's. There's a chest here. Oh, hey. Sweet. I have not found any walls to break. Barrow White! Barrow White! Oh god, I'm coming. 
Toot the motherfucker. You say toot? <laughs> toot that piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's moving further. He moved slightly further on. Can we sanctuary again or no? Uh, no, I not not yet. Just uh, you've got use the giant stones as cover. All right, he should be coming down to where we are next. Yeah, there he is, up ahead. Right. Let's go! Breaking uh. undead, covering our backsides. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes, the uncle and I will handle the barrel wipe, I guess. Come here. Got He's him! Dead. Got him! And his reward sucked. <laughs> what was it? It was a power potion and one coin. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a smack in the face. <laughs> I mean, they are mini bosses, so you know. Eh, but still, even, at least but still. other ones gave like, gave loot. Yeah. Oh, hey, this here's here's another place to sell stuff. They're finally giving them to us uh, in places that are not five miles ahead of where we're going. Right? Someplace decent. Yeah. Stronghold and stronghold. So on essentials. There we go. Twelve thousand gold. Ooh, potion of quickness. And another potion of quickness. Rejuvenating cake. And a warding potion. What was this? Temporary increase in speed. Ghost this with the most. All right. Oh, hey, treasure chest. Cool. One sec. It's right behind you when you get done. All right. You just blend in with the walls. It's hard to use them. Sometimes, yeah. I don't know whether it's a good or a bad thing. <clears throat> I'm starting to really taste that chocolate in the wine. Is that a good or a bad thing? That's a good thing. It means I'm getting used to the shitty taste of alcohol. Daily. Yeah, one second. Sword is dope. Could use a little sharp. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that reminds me. Let me see. Oh yeah, that you you got some uh you got some scratches in there, buddy. <laughs> Whoever made it, I got this from the blacksmith guy, so blame him. <laughs> I mean, it's it's seen some stuff, but uh, still seems to be serviceable. Newman Narsil looks in better condition than this thing, <laughs> and it's broken into pieces right now. <laughs> But I love, I love the man what handles. What is, wait, wait. I love the handles of the What, man, uh, what, what uh, is, is that one of the rangers? I think. I love the handles on man weapons. Their hilts are great. Oh yeah, their hilts are really cool. Damn, if only we had some Athol on someone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have been dreaming. You spoke of a plague. What was all that about a plague? I, I don't know. It was as if I was someone else. I remember a plague. And 
despair. The great plague. There are three hundred. all rangers have the same fucking spell. <laughs> they all have Aragorn hair. I want no more of them. Happened to you. How did you end up in this darksome hole? I recall we were making good speed through the downs, eager to return to our friends. But a fog began to rise and we could not find our way. I say we kill him. He's probably possessed. <laughs> I mean he was for a little bit. But what if that for a little bit was fun? Stronger, more evil. I saw a shadowy figure seize hold of Kalaran and he fell senseless. Then it came for me. That's all I remember. But if I was brought living into this tomb, then the same would be true for Kalaran. We need to find him. That's our plan. That's what we intend to do. Are you strong enough to join us? Yes. I think I can keep up with you. This is no place for talk after we've just sat here for five minutes talking. At least now we have a, another party member, I guess? Yeah, temporary one. Better than Elrond's useless ass twin. <laughs> the ones that never joined us in a fight, yeah. They did, they joined us in one fight, and every other fight they were just late for. <laughs> what was the fight that they joined us in? Uh, one of the... They, they helped us fight a troll. No, they were no. late for that fight. Yeah, no, they were late no, for that were... fight. No, there was one fight that they actually helped us in, and I'm... I don't... It was like, it was I... like hordes of enemies. It was like one of the and ones... The second tr no, that before. was when we had to protect them when they were guarding the door. Or opening the door. Yeah, uh... Boy... At least on the way to the door, they were helping us. And then they were like, hey, we're gonna open this door for you. Yeah. And then they stopped being party members again. Yeah. With no one. At least this guy's helping us out. Yeah. And he seems to be decent at it, too. Fuck, these guys are just disappearing. It's a lot of dead things. Yeah, I'm trying to hit those archers that are way ahead of us, take off their heads. These fuckers in front of us are getting in the way, though. I think that's kind of boring. But... Yeah, they. Yeah, it's kind of the kind of the point of any foot soldiers is really to get in the way of the archers. Technically, their job right now is to but... <laughs> Yeah. There we go. Hello. Human resources. <laughs> Literally. Right. Wait up, I have the Dark Souls roll to you. <laughs> 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 you really are too. <laughs> uh, good Dark reference. Souls tactics, just keep rolling. <laughs> yeah, good yeah. reference. It's come on. Uh, okay. about he's that. Okay. He's, <laughs> definitely, he's definitely too far gone to save. <laughs> yeah, about about that, buddy. I got some news for you about your friend there. A barrel so we can I... I don't know! We can't, we can't hurt can't him! Hit. What's going on? We can't hit him. I think we're waiting for that dude to come over here. I think that's we what it are. is. Because we can't oh, hit him. I tried to shoot him. Yeah, maybe. it's... Yeah, pretty much it's, it's some waves and then we fight him. We can go over to him. Oh, no, never mind. No, we can't. Oh, here he comes. Yeah, we gotta fuck the Ow! 
He's like barely swinging yeah, and it hurts like hell. He hits hard. Yeah. Even when he's been even when he's been war fried, he hits hard. The fu- yeah. He uh, disappeared, go back in the oh, thing. Yep, back. yep. Which means more- ah! Oh wow, okay, that's different. Okay. I'm oh god, there's more! The yeah, get behind the pillars, get behind the pillars! Figuring this out like a Dark Souls fight. <laughs> yeah. That's essentially what it is at this point. I mean, that is the way a lot of the fights have been happening, is is Dark Souls. When, especially and, the trolls, is pretty much just whack, whack, dodge. Honestly, I, I think... I was so convinced that if we took, if we, that first troll fight, if we took out the ceiling, we could have had Bellerin help out. I know. But it just, there was, there was still the struts on the ceiling, so Bellerin could still put into the area. Alright, he's about to come over. Alright, have a buff. Yeah. Cool. Let me get close. Come on over here. Oh my god, this guy. Hits like a truck. Ow. Indeed. He's Get gone. Again. Keep hitting him. Okay, there we go. Get behind the get behind the pillars! There's still another co-op strike co opportunity. Yeah, when Nick, he, got, when he gets down, I think that's done. Yeah. Uh-oh, barriers are getting small. Yep. Hopefully this uh, game obeys the rule of threes. It looks like it is. That's what I figured. You want to actually get up so I can beat you to death, zombie? Nope, it's him jumping over. Let's go. You do not leave me over here. <laughs> Ow. That is even hurting me at this dead. point. He's almost dead. He's dead. There we go. Yeah, okay. Don't with a crushing blow. Ow, that was legitimately challenging. Yeah, that was that was decent. It was pretty fun. I got an ostensibly good great sword out of it. Nice. I haven't uh, looked up the right. or anything. It's fine, I think we'll still have time to collect stuff. First black riders now Barrow White. This is more than men would have to contend with. Thank you, Automatoon. You deserve a reward. Yeah, you were the least useless tar extra party member that we've had. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, but it would only Out of the three that we've had so far, you're the least useless. You keep what you have won. I don't know. What about uh, the Griffin? Or Giant Eagle, not Griffin. Elrond doesn't count because he's awesome and he's always at. Or he's always <laughs> I was talking about like the people on foot. Yeah. That actually help out. You should come with us. Nah, the way is clear. You've been oh. Maybe. No, I, I feel my now, don't so skip it. I'll see me myself again. And then I will bear Kalaran's body away from these tainted tombs. He should be buried with the rest of his brothers of Velitzan Ford. That would be fitting. Yeah, that would be fitting. That's a noble mission. I hope he can rest in peace now. Farewell. All right. Yeah. Okay. Back to exploring slash leveling. <laughs> Back to exploring slash looting the dead. Yep. Yeah. Why not? You. <laughs> I'm sorry 
Stop talking oh, God. to him. I wasn't. I literally just ran forward. Stop going near him then. <laughs> Apparently the game thinks that you're talking to him. Uh, let's see. Yeah, put more strength into there. What are some of these other crystals I've gotten? Okay, Chance so... Chance of power... Or yes, change item. My choices now are... During war cry, melee damage absorbed by the champion is reflected back to the enemy. Oh, shit. Thank you, Salix. You're welcome. Here's something for you, Dan. Thank you. You're welcome. So I've got the plus three will from Battlemaster currently. I need two more sets. I'm looking for head, chest, arms, and boots. Of what? I think we cleared this for, out. For Battlemaster. Yeah, we've we finished. Let's uh let's head on to Rivendell and then we can keep looking at stuff. Okay. I got a new sword from that from that song from that ghost fight. <laughs> Come on, Dan. I like how this uh sigil appear our sigils appear overlapping each other. Yes. To to create one one bigger sigil. It's really cool. Yeah, it's all of our characters icon. Yes. We're at Rivendell, in the looks of it. Yep. Awesome. Yep, going going to uh, the home of Elrond the Half-Elven. And his mongrel boy. <laughs> Don't be a racist, Dan, Jesus. <laughs> I'm a dwarf, I'm allowed to be. <laughs> I think everybody's kind of racist in it. Aragorn! Yeah. Well, I think the fellowship's here too, huh? Yep. Ah, Master Elrond. Allow me to present to you Farin of Erebor, a very valiant dwarf. Indeed. It is an honor to welcome one so brave to my home, and your companions as well. Yeah, I was about to say, but what about us, asshole? You lived here, so that's... <laughs> Yeah. So <laughs> for you it's just you for you it's just coming home. Pretty much, yeah. Dwarf yeah. I'll admit I'm surprised a dwarf can find so warm a welcome in the hall of an elf lord. Conflicts there have been between our folk in the past, but you are one of the trusty folk of Durin's line. More often than not, your people and mine have been allies and friends. I'm glad to see you made it here in one piece, Eric. A right guy who just doesn't even acknowledge what he said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh god. Gandalf. Sir Ian McKellen. I should have known you would be involved with this somehow. Indeed. Wherever there is trouble and strife and the enemy is stirring, there you No, I think that's Cory Burton. No. That's that's definitely Ian McKellen. I mean, Corey Bell Burton's a master of uh, voice imitation. No, I, I, I can assure you that that is Ian McKellen. The Ring of Power. Isildur's Bane. Isn't that another name for the Ring of Power? Quite right. The Ring of Power. My gray eyes. <laughs> Okay, drama queen. Sauron's ring has once again been found. Do you mean to say the halfling Aragorn rescued has come into possession of the Dark Lord's ring? Aye, that would explain those accursed black riders. But what is to become of the ring now? There is no safe resting place for the ring. Not even here in Imladris. It is a danger to all who come near to it. There is only one course left to us. The ring must be destroyed. To do so, the ring will need to be cast into the same fires from which it was forged. Those of Mount Doom. Where's Talion and Kellogg Rimbor when you need them? <laughs> hey, Belloran, <laughs> we have a task for you. <laughs> <laughs> Surely, don't intend to send him 
Allie and or, so, yeah, Bre oh, Bellaram fly to fly to Mordor, grab Talion, have him destroy the ring for us. Yeah. Set against Sauron's nine black riders. Among this fellowship will be representatives of all the free peoples of the world. Except those games take place like decades before this, so. Pedagorn and I will both be going. Who knows if Talion's even alive at this point? We help. And then again, he's a he's one of the Dunedain, and those guys live for a long time. They do. They live for a couple hundred years, if I remember correctly. What about us? Is there nothing we can do to help? The Nazgul and Agandar are dying. Sorry, you don't have the you don't have movie license. <laughs> We're gonna send you off in this secondary mission. Oh no, this is actually a good a good point. There were a bunch of scouts that were sent out. Basically like the fellowship stayed in Rivendell for close to a year before they left. Did they? Yeah. Maybe not a year. It might have been one full season, but they they stayed a long time before they left. Because they were they were sending out scouts and being like find out if the black riders have gone back to Mordor, if the lands are safe-ish. Like, right, and yeah. like explaining their route and stuff. Yeah. I'm guessing you some of those sense. scouts. What can you tell me of the yeah, it, they basically said we're going to be some of those scouts. Almost directly north of Rivendell. It is a wild region of very rugged terrain. Home to many trolls, trolls and giants. Mm -hmm. Giants. We're going to be dealing with giants. But neither did I encounter trolls. That fact alone is troubling. It could be that they are gathering in force somewhere among the moors. Oh, uh, the end. That's so. We don't want them taking us. At least it's better than the barrel down. <laughs> I will take undead over <laughs> trolls any day. From Adagorn and True. Sons, I expected no. I would rather not fight a giant. Still, Agreed. Trolls, uh, trolls, we can handle giants. That's a different story. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. I mean, literally the giants in this world are the size of mountains. They're they are no laughing matter. It's it's not simply like, yeah, this guy's like sixteen feet tall. Like, no, no, this this dude is several hundred feet tall. No, well, this is the sword I got from the this is the sword I got from the uh, Barrow White Lord. Nice. Not quite as cool as my pla as my champion sword, but Yeah, but not not bad. It's all right. I like the I like the hilt of the champion sword better. Andriel, I'm glad you are here. I hoped I would have the opportunity to speak with you privately before you left for the Ettenmore. Bro, I wish to tell you how proud I am of what you accomplished at Fornoth. You have brought great honor to our household. Indeed, all of Imladris is singing your praises. But I do not believe you have come to hear my thanks. Do you have questions for me? Found this scroll. I discovered this scroll at Fornost. It is tainted with evil. Yet I thought it best you should see it. A wise decision. This is writ in the black. Oh, speech thanks, Alron. A language I will not utter here. It is intended to instruct the reader in the use of dark sorceries. What can you tell me of the black speech? A language devised by Sauron. He desired a single tongue to be spoken by all who served him. He had small luck introducing it to the scattered tribes of orcs and trolls, but it is still used by his highest ranking servants. We encountered orcs at Fornost who used spells against us. Then it seems this has already been put to use. That is grim news. The Dark Lord is a master of necromancy and other foul sorceries. He has taught these abominations to men in the past, but never, to my knowledge, to orcs. Dare I ask you to explain more about the dark art of necromancy? Necromancy is the darkest form of sorcery. It deals with raising the dead. Sauron has such powers at his command? He does indeed. It was for this reason he was known as the Necromancer when he still dwelt in the fortress of Dol Guldur in Mirkwood. At that time, we did not know this was Sauron returned, but we knew there was a great evil there. Have you not experienced this power two gifts from Elrond. in your journey through the Borrow Downs? 
It was Sauron's chief servant, the Witch King, who summoned the Borrow Whites to infest those tombs. Efficiency elixir, nice. But why would the dead men of the Borrow Down serve the enemy? Many of them were our allies in ages past. These shades are not truly the dead. Whoa. Not even Sauron has that power. It is accomplished through the summoning of malignant spirits. I'll take that Elf Knight's ring, thank you. The dead. It is a mockery of life and the foulest form of desecration. So there are we captured this from the enemy before it could cause further harm. What will become of it? I will destroy this scroll. The there are but wait. Right. Uh, there are two or three no there are six more of those uh there are six armor scrolls total yeah hmm. yes we found we one of them so there's do either of you want a starlight ring or an elf's night ring because i don't think i can use either of these yes you can Okay. What do they do? Plus four, or plus two strength, plus four will, and plus twelve armor on the Elf Knight's ring. Okay. I don't, I don't remember what the other one does because I picked the Elf Knight's ring. So six more remain. The good rings use them. They're better than the shit we've been finding. It requires eighteen will. But I'll start willing it up. Yeah, you need to start putting points in will. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm going to. Only problem is I can't do that until later. I have 13 right now. Thank you, Master Elrond. Until I return home once more. Okay, I think this is a good place to stop because I've got to go for the night. Yeah, no, I was I was gonna suggest that. Uh, give me just a moment. Let me open my my rewards from Elrond. Likes her of powerful shooting. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that. And more info. Wow. Uh, two strength, four will, twelve armor. Five, four dexterity, five health, one reflect. I think the elf knight's ring is better for me. Okay, then, uh, yeah, we, we can pick this up uh, again the next time. All right. Uh, hope everybody has enjoyed. Stick around. I am going to send a raid. Let me, let me double check to see who is uh, currently streaming. Yeah, I'm a child. Evelyn is streaming. Okay. Raid. Hopefully I do this right. There we go. Alright, so yeah. You guys go and watch her. She is awesome. She's playing a game that looks pretty cool. And uh, have a good night. Bye! Bye. Alright. I think that went well. Yeah. yeah. We made it through the Barrow Downs, which was nice. There's more horrors yet to come. We have six more scrolls to find. Yes. Okay. Hope oh, you're having fun, Salix. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Outside of the occasional drip. Yeah. Th that's weird, and I don't know why it's doing that at all. And it's always you, it's weird. Yeah. I don't know if, it's, if it has to do with playing as Aridin, or if it's just if it's you somehow, I don't know. I've got no idea. But either way, it was fun. Yeah. I don't even know I'll talk to you guys later. But it See ya. Out. See ya. That was not an optimal way to do that.
And then that's me for the night. So yep. Me Have a good night. Ciao Pretty for sure. now. Bye bye. Imagine hitting spikes in the video game. That's gotta that's gotta be death, right? This thing? Well, you know what? One way to find out. It's not. What is that? It's just a bumper. We're playing pinball. See, there's like all this other shit down here that I could be doing. I'm just skipping over like so many strawberries right now. Oh, this is toxic. Oh, it's toxic. All right. <laughs> no strawberries if I will. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing alright. Thank you so much for asking. Uh, yeah, how was your stream? Oh, I just had to dash into it. I think I already asked, but I don't remember if you answered or not. Uh. No, come on! Get rid of that! That was, all right, I smacked my mic and I'm sorry, but it's because my mic was actually in the way of me seeing that little corner, the little corner spike there. I played uh, some loader. War in the North had some good viewers. Nice. I'm very glad to hear that. So that was so this was pointless, huh? Cool. See, these are okay. You know, <clears throat> I'm like, these are fun, but now I have a feeling I'm gonna hate them. Go ahead. They're not that bad. Oh my god, mixing these mechanics is rough. That's okay. Ah, because I'm using, okay. I'm using the D-pad when I do my dashes, but I have to switch to the stick when I use the, the feather, which is uh, kind of was pretty rough. Ah. And even though the sticks are better, there's like still that dead zone that I experience. Stop doing that, Evelyn. Evelyn! Uh, uh, no! Oh no, I was there! I didn't even grab the edge, but I jumped for some reason. 
Okay, Evelyn. You do that again, I'm unsubscribing. Evelyn! That's it. You're banned, kid. Didn't even break a sweat. Wasn't even hard. This game is for babies. Ah. Alright, what's down here first? Cool, nothing. Hmm. Well, I could just play it safe. Well, you remember when I was like, you play it safe? And then I did the most unsafe thing imaginable? yourself the giant sentient block over and over? Yeah. It's one of my favorite pastimes, actually. Oh my god! Not even paying attention. I don't know if this is right. It is. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> I just kind of blindly flew, flew through that. Oh god. Uh, uh, uh. No. No, please. No. Oh my god. I almost saved it. Oh no, what was that? No, come on. I definitely did not input for that. <laughs> 